welcome to an RVO studio. I'm Kat, for those of you who haven't joined one of our videos before, and these are the chickens who like to come and get involved in all the videos as well. So today we're going to go for a short uh, little workout just to fire up the core. So just remember as we go to do what you can and make sure you listen to your body. So we're coming round and onto your hands and knees. So knees under the hips, hands under the shoulders. Just focusing then onto the breath. Just take two big breaths in and out. So breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. And then start to move through your cat stretch. So we're going to exhale, round up. Inhale, pull the shoulders back, take the arch the other way. So exhale to round. Inhale to arch. So start to think about squeezing the belly button into the spine, starting to warm up, fire up those core muscles as we round up, and then let it go as you take it the other way. So we're going to do that two more times. Exhale, belly button to spine, push the back out, round, inhale, stretch it through the front arch. One more, exhale, squeeze the belly in, round, inhale, arch. And then come back into the center. Just come back to neutral. Um, we're going to exhale, slide the right foot away, slide the left hand away and lift. And then come into the center underneath. So breathe out, reach, come to the center. So squeezing the belly button into the spine. Good. Take it down, swap sides. So sliding the left foot away and the right fingers away, reach. And then into the center. So exhale, reach. Come to the center. Remember, if it don't doesn't quite work with that arm today, just use work, just work with the leg. Gonna go for one more. Reach. And then lower. Settle back. Just take a moment. So breathe in your child's pose. And then we're coming forwards to lie face down on the mat. So we're going to um, work up just a little bit into the back and the glutes. I know, strictly speaking, it's not the core. But when I think of the core, I always like to think of the whole of the trunk area. So we're going to take the hands behind you face down. I'm thinking of that locust pose. As you inhale, take the chest up, take the legs up, see if you can lift the arms up. Breathe out, release. Breathe in, lift. And release. If you want to work harder, you can take the arms out in front and everything lifts together. So inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. going to do that three more times. One more. And then lower down. And then as you exhale, just have a moment back in your child's pose again. Good. So we're going to come on to your hands and knees. Tuck the toes under, exhale, lift the hips up, come to a downward facing dog. So as you inhale, push forward to plank, squeeze in the belly in, exhale, lift the hips up. Inhale, plank, exhale, lift the hips. So just moving forwards and backwards, using the core, keeping it strong. Keep it going as long as you can. So we're here for three, two, one. 
inhale push forward to your plank and then we're going to come to our side plank so just bringing the feet together see if you can roll around onto the little toe side so i'm on my right side it doesn't matter if you go the other way to start reach that right arm up remember you can all, uh, left arm up you can always drop a knee for that little bit more support if you need it so try and look up to the sky to the ceiling if that feels okay and then come back round into the middle to plank and swap sides. So shifting the weight round onto that left side or the other or whichever side you need to be on. Breathe. If the balance doesn't feel right, look to the floor. Drop the knee if you need it. Good. Come back into the middle, finding your plank. And then we're just going to release the knees. Send the hips back, swinging round so that we come to lie down, or we're going to come to lie down on the floor. So we're going to take a slow roll down towards the mat. So take a little bend in the knees, breathe out, squeeze the belly in, reach up with the arms, and we're going to take 10 counts to come all the way down. So as you start to exhale, put the tailbone under. So we're going one, squeezing in with the belly, two, three, four, five, take a breath in if you need it, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, inhale, sweep the arms back, big stretch out, and then we're releasing the arms round to the side, so for the next section that we're going to work, we're going to uh, work with the leg lift and twist, uh, remember the more you bend the knees, the easier it is, and the hot, lower you drop your feet towards the floor, the harder it is. So you can adjust it to suit how you're feeling today. So we're going to exhale, squeeze the belly and lift the legs up. And then exhale, drop them as far as you can towards the right, back to the centre, and then exhale, take them to the left. And back to the centre, exhale, straight, take them straight down in front. And lift. So we're going to exhale, come to the right. Maybe we've got a little bit of issue with space, so that might be a, a, a factor on how far you can lift and lower as well. And then exhale, center. So we're just moving right side, left side, and center. So exhale to lower, inhale to lift. Keep that awareness of the core. We want to keep the belly strong. Take one more round. Exhale, go to the right. I'm traveling down my mat, I think. Exhale, go to the left. And then exhale. Lower to the center. Inhale, lift. Hold. Exhale, squeeze the belly in. And then slowly lower the legs down. I'm going to see if we can count to 10 to lower. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Squeezing the belly in, four, three, two, one. Fab, good. Take a good stretch out from fingers to toes. And then exhale, have a little hug in of the knees. Okay, so we're going to have a little rock and roll up and down through the spine. And we're just going to see how far we can take it and challenge the core. So, when you're ready, we're going to breathe out, squeeze the belly in, hold down the backs of the thighs, roll up to sitting. So this is where, then when you're outside and you're on a bit of a lump and a bit of a slope, it gets all sorts of fun. So, as you exhale, take it back. As you inhale, uh, sorry, as you exhale, roll up. As you inhale, we're going to roll it back. See if you can find that balance as you lift up. And then maybe you start to let go with your hands. So we're coming into that boat point. Then if we want, we can try and take it all the way back to plow. So inhale, roll back. Maybe you can come to plow. Exhale, roll up to sitting. If it's just a little roll with the knees in, 
that's good as well. It's all challenging that core. You're just taking it as far as you can, rolling down the mat, rolling down the grass. Just fun. So we're going to go for two more. And then see if you can just hold that balance there. So we could be holding the thigh. We could be stretching the legs out, maybe even perhaps trying to reach the arms up to the ceiling. Keep squeezing the belly in. Good. And release. Move your shoulders, a little roll around. Okay. And then we're just going to come round on to all fours. Step the feet back to your plank and then exhale lower all the way down towards the mat. We're just going to find a little back bend here. Stretch out through the front. So when you're ready, we're going to inhale, lift. So you can come through to your cobra in that position. Or if you prefer, we've got the elbows underneath the shoulders. But either way, lift the chest. Think of pressing the tummy forward, the belly forward. So we take a stretch through those muscles that have been working hard, those core muscles, abdominal muscles. Good. And then on the exhale, push it all the way back. Come to your child's pose. And then we're going to breathe out. Walk the hands around to the right. Just keep your hips anchored down over your heels. You can take a stretch through the right side. So thinking about all those muscles that were also working around the obliques there. And then inhale to the centre. And with the exhale, walk all the way around to the left. Palm back into the centre, and then just take a moment here in your child pose to find your breath again. And slowly take yourself up to sitting. We're going to release the feet round. Find a comfortable position to sit in. And then when you're ready, we're just going to sweep the arms up. Bring the hands down to your centre as you bow your head to your fingers, just seeming you work out your practice in your namaste. Good. Well done. Well, I hope you like that. And a short little sweet flow and you can just to feel the core fire up. If you feel you need more, remember you can always just go back and play it all over again and maybe just do it two or three times to really feel yourself um, waking and burning through that center. Okay, good, so give it a thumbs up. I'm gonna leave a question or a comment below if you need to. And remember to subscribe to the channel so you can keep up to date with all our latest videos. Okay, take care now, bye.